This is something with cats calling, 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 and we're facing with bass and bullheads. All right, so I'm meeting a guy named Adam, and he's gonna show me a spot where he's been catching bullheads. And we're gonna see if we can't catch some bullheads too. And uh, right now I'm just uh, waiting and we're rigging up our gear. Hey, you follow me. Yeah, I'm following you. All right, we're at this pond here, and I have never fished this before, but Adam says that there's some bullheads in it, so we're gonna give it a go. Now, the rig I'm using is a weighted float with number six bait hook, and that's it. I'm gonna be baiting with uh, worms, maybe some shrimp, maybe some chicken liver. I use a float because bullheads are notorious for gut hooking themselves. Uh, they, they don't run when they take the bait, like, a blue cat or a channel cat will. They'll, they'll just suck up your bait and just sit there. And so you'll often not even know they're there and they'll get gut hooked. With a bobber, you can just suspend the bait slightly off the bottom and then you can detect the fish better and prevent them from being gut hooked. So that's the theory. We'll see if it works. Okay, you want to try the shrimp? Yeah, shrimp are my favorite. You just... That's a dead shrimp. Yeah, you got it. That's exactly what that is. Okay. Good cast, buddy. Okay, lift him up. Tommy, look what you got. Pull it up, pull it up. A bullhead! No, that's not a bullhead, that's a bass. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. That's good, that's good. Look, I caught a bass. You caught a bass. Look at that, Tom! You caught him. Yeah. But you want to come up and hold him for the camera? Yeah. Oh, I, he looks here, not hold, very... hold his lip. Pinch his lip like this. Okay, and pinch it hard like that. Okay, and hold it up. Awesome. Shall we put him back? Yep. So okay. Let's let it go. Swim by. Weep. Oh, 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 oh! Pull On the shrimp. My very first catfish that I ever caught was a bullhead, and it was on shrimp. It was actually ice fishing too, believe it or not. Look at that. Nice little bullhead. Now, one of the ways you can tell the difference between a bullhead and a baby flathead is the size of their heads. A fish this size, it's a bullhead, will be a very mature, stocky fish. A flathead this size will be a brand new baby and will be very skinny and lean. So bullheads, they've got no forked tail. Oh, Tommy, you're getting bites. Yeah, you got one. You got one, Tom. You got a fish? Or is he gone? He's gone. He's gone. Okay, just put him back. He'll come back for it. You can tell the type of bullhead based on the color of the belly and the color of the whiskers. And you can tell a bullhead from like channel catfish and baby blue catfish and stuff like that because it doesn't have a forked tail. But uh, there we go, we're gonna put them back. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, Adam, but uh, I did the professional bullhead circuit for a couple years. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a lot of sponsors, but you know, the drama and the touring just got too much. Oh, look at that, a fish going, a fish. Wait, 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 wait for him, wait for him, wait for him. Wait for him. He 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 was. Hold on. You got him. Yeah. yeah you do. Woo! Oh. What the what? I didn't know what. But oh my god. Okay, go ahead and hold him. Oh, hold him, man. Hold him. You want to put him back? Yeah. All right. Look, the day the the fish is in your head. Hey, awesome. Here, why'd you throw him back, bud? Excellent release. All right. All right, Adam. So what you got on there? 
I am using uh, the shrimp. You had success with it, so I'm gonna give it a shot more. Well, I am a bullhead expert, you know, because I caught one. Exactly. You know. Exactly. So I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, with I'm. I'm. I'm I know exactly what I'm. I'm talking about. What is that? Fenwick or something? Shimano. Shimano. Classic. I actually caught my only and my only flathead and my biggest catfish on this rod. Sweet. How big was he? Like 40, 45 pounds. Woo! That's a nice one. Oh, don't knock the camera into the water. Finally, Tommy, you're supporting your old man in the manner in which he'd become accustomed. Oh, hey, hey, less moving, less moving. <laughs> what happened to your arms? I broke them off when it was really down there and when it was sweeping. Yep. That's actually a surprisingly nice crappie for this pond. Wow. You didn't expect that. On a shrimp. <laughs> Not bad, Adam. Yeah. You didn't expect that. No. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so we got bluegill, largemouth bass, bullhead, right. and crappie. Crappie. Hey. That's we... variety, right? Yeah, that's that's variety. Yeah. Tommy, what are you doing? You got shrimp eyes? Yeah! All right, bud, go for it. Good cast, bud. All right, let me show you uh, my rod and reel. I'm using the Cabela's Mag Touch rod. Wonderful one piece rod. Love these rods. And I've got a Fluger Supreme XT on here as well. Just a great combo. I lo love Fluger reels. I love the Cabela's Mag Touch rods. Over here, I've got the same thing, just different models. This is a Fluger Supreme XT. And then I've got the new edition of the Cabela's uh, Mag Touch rod. Just a little bit larger version of the same setup. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you guys had a great time and enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to... What? That's right. Tommy, your pants came off again. <laughs>